Are you looking for a great way to quickly add some texture to your designs? Take for instance this little design that we've got here for a poster. If we want to add some texture to the background, we can do so using the Smart Brush tool. A lot of you might have already started using the Smart Brush tool to select and enhance your images in the one step. While in Photoshop Elements 10, we can now select and add texture to parts of our image in a single step as well. Start by going and selecting the tool from the toolbar. You can see that there's two versions of the tool here as well, the Smart Brush tool and the Detail Smart Brush tool. Use the Detail Smart Brush tool for very small and intricate parts of your image and the Smart Brush tool for broader areas that you can apply the texture to very quickly. At the moment we'll select the Smart Brush tool. Then go up to the drop down menu in the options bar and you'll see here we have a range of different headings that we can select different types of enhancement to apply to our image. What we're looking for is the new textures heading and you can see straight away that there's a variety of different textures that we can apply to our image. And it's as simple as selecting one of these options and then going back to our image and starting to use the brush and it's the selection brush that we're using here to just brush around the actual parts of the image that we wish to apply the texture to. Now just like any other smart brush adjustment we have the ability to take away or subtract from the selection by just choosing the subtract from mode in the little mini pop-up options bar here. Or you can go back to the add to selection to add to the adjustment that you've already created. Now keep in mind that these adjustments are created using an adjustment layer. And if we go to the layer thumbnail for the adjustment layer and double click on it, you'll see that we have the ability to alter the way in which the pattern fill, which is what is being used to create the texture, is being applied to, in this case, our background. And the most useful control in this pattern fill dialog is the scale slider. Notice how using the scale slider, we can drastically change the way in which the pattern is being applied to the background in this instance. If I just click OK now, that change will then be applied. And I can just go and select another tool to jump out of the smart brush mode. But if I turn off my other layers, you'll notice what the smart brush tool has done. It's actually selected around all of the parts of the image that were visible and applied the texture just to the parts where the selection brush has been active. If we wanted to apply totally to the background, then let's just delete that smart brush entry, go back to the smart brush tool, and in this case I'm going to leave off all of those layers, target the background layer, and then just brush into the background layer. I can then go back to my Move tool and turn back on my other layers. You'll notice that the texture is actually sitting on top of the other pieces in my composition. So I need to drag that adjustment layer down till it just sits above the background. And now I have the texture sitting just in the background. Let's turn off everything except the star and the background and let's apply another texture into the star region. So we'll go and select the Smart Brush tool. Now you have to be a little bit careful when you select the tool again because here it's assuming that we want to add to or make changes to the existing Smart Brush texture. Notice that if I go and select another texture now it will replace the texture that was already there. Checkers isn't bad in this case, so we might leave it. But if we want to apply a texture inside the star itself, make sure you select that new layer, then make sure that the Smart Brush tool is selected, and now we'll go and choose our new texture. In this case, we want to go and choose Satin. Now that we have that, let's brush inside the star shape itself, and then go and turn back on all of the other adjustments grab our satin adjustment layer and just drag it down till it sits just above the star layer. So now I think we're just about done. We've changed the background, 
added some texture to the star itself and we have an image that is much more dynamic than what it started out to be.